with um, the growing of corn um, before the days of uh, uh, a lot of scythes even, sickles were used. Corn and similar uh, crops. Crops, thank you, were uh, hard stemmed, and in order to cut those, sickles were used. And a sickle has a series of serrated teeth right along its edge, as different from what's known as a hook, a reaping hook, which does not. That's a plain blade. So, sickles are for hard stemmed. Hooks are for soft stemmed uh, crops, uh, peas, grass, all sorts of other things. So these two are sickles. The variety of these things was beyond belief. Not only every country, every region of every country would have its own, all over the world. And in the Holy Collection we have a book in which is six inches thick and most of that book is with pages as though somebody's had a sample drawn round it in order to uh, take a, 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 a sketch of it accurate sketch of it and they would write on uh, the details of manufacture and who it was for against that and they have a permanent record of that and this is hundreds and hundreds of different sorts so these are two examples of, of sickles. Following on from that, we have reaping hooks, of which again, there are many different sorts. And uh, uh, there are two here, this one being by Hutton, whose trademark was BY, uh, probably a play on words of BYs uh, to, uh, to do the thing. This particular one, going back to these, is Staniforth, by the way. Uh, another famous maker, I think oh, this is almost certainly Thomas Staniforth, this one it says they were established in, in 1743 at uh, Hackenthorpe near Sheffield. They were bought up eventually by Spear and Jacksons, possibly in the 1960s. Uh, many different s sorts of hook for different purposes. This one here is known as a pea hook, and on it it has the trademark of Robert Sorby, the kangaroo. That's actually for uh, cutting peas down with its particular shape. But I happen to know it wasn't made at Robert Sorby's, because I was given that by a very small manufacturer called Mawson, who had a small manufacturing shop at Healy and uh, this was one of the ones that didn't get to the works and so they were given to, to me. So 